Good afternoon, everyone. Well, let me start off with a question. How many of you have set goals before? Goals like learning how to cook or learning a new instrument is all okay. Any goals, please raise your hand. Well, how many of you have given up during the process of achieving them? Well, I can see a lot of hands down there. Well, I've had the same experience too, but a trip changed me. Well, it was February of 2019 that we went to India for a trip. And during the trip, I learned a way to solve this problem. Well, in the trip, there was a festival called the Kumbha Mela. In the Chinese, it's called the Da Hu Jie. We had to go to the Kumbha Mela that day. And because there was too many people and the road was completely jammed, we had to get off the bus and walk about 20 kilometers till we reached the Kumbha Mela. Well, I didn't want to go because I did some simple math. Let's think about it. Walking 20 kilometers is from the bus to the Kumbha Mela. Adding another 20 kilometers from the Kumbha Mela back to the bus, that's 40 kilometers. It's like a marathon. So I really want to quit at that time. I thought, I can't do this. Well, the guide told us that the Kumbha Mela happens only every 12 years. So not going, we'll regret. Well, what I was thinking, is that I had no other choice, so I must go. Well, when I was walking with the people on the path, there was trash everywhere on the floor, and it was a bunch of mess. Well, I didn't feel good at that time. So let me show you a little video of myself when I was walking, when I was walking with the people. Kevin, what do you feel about the well, that is me when I was walking with the people on the path to Kumbha Mela. Well, you can see from my face, I didn't look that happy, right? Well, I hated the feeling of walking 40 kilometers. Look at my facial expressions. The guide in our trip, he probably saw my facial expressions. So he came to me and we started a conversation. He said, Hey, David, what's up? I said, 20 kilometers is so tiring. I can't walk that long. Well, he said something to cheer me up. He said, how about let's set a little goal first? To walk five kilometers at first, and then we'll rest. I thought this idea might work, so I tried to walk with the people. Well, as I walked forward, we were talking about how to set goals, like walking five kilometers. And I found out probably setting goals it was very important for him. So I asked, do you always set different goals? Well, he said, and he shared his experience with me. He said, well, I started setting goals when I was small. And since I found out that setting goals worked really well for me, it became a habit for me as well. And he continued, he said, I followed my way and I got into my dream university. And after I graduated, I became a, a guide for Chinese tourists. I thought, well, he became a guy for Chinese tourists. He went to his dream university, probably because of his goals. But I was wondering about something right there. Well, how did he do that? Is there any secret behind it? So I asked, do you have any secrets? And he replied, he said, well, my secret is to set a big goal at first and then simply break them down into smaller pieces and then accomplish them one by one. While we were talking, he suddenly told us to stop. He said, let's take a rest. We've already walked for five kilometers. And I was shocked at that time, how five kilometers went by so fast. I thought it was gonna be half a day or so. But it was way faster than I thought. So I thought maybe walking through the Kumbha Mela probably wouldn't be that hard. Well, while we rested, we talked about more fun facts about the Kumbha Mela. Before we had to walk the next five kilometers, he said, hey, David, how about let's set a, a bigger goal? Let's walk 10 kilometers. I thought about it. Walking five kilometers? Well, it was faster than I thought. So probably 10 kilometers wouldn't be that hard. So we walked the next 10 kilometers with a very positive attitude. And this goal was achieved as well. 
Well, with all of these conversations and walking, we finally met the Kumba Mela. And that is me standing at the Kumba Mela that day. And I felt really happy when I met it. Because do you guys know what my first feeling was toward the Kumba Mela? It was wow. It certainly surprised me. Because I saw so many things I've never seen before. And it's absolutely astonishing. Take a look. I can see people sit in circles praying, and I can see people dressed in religious clothes, doing religious rituals, and all of these things I've never seen before. And it's absolutely memorable. Well, the Kuma Mila made me, made me have a great impression for it when I left. And I thought walking for uh, 20 kilometers till we reached the Kuma Mila made me feel really good. I thought it was worth it. So as we walked the next 20 kilometers back to the bus, I was walking with a very happy mood. I thought, this 20 kilometers wouldn't be that hard. So we finished it really fast, with a very happy mood, especially me, because I knew I learned something new that day, learning how to set a goal and then break them down into smaller pieces and then achieving them one by one. Well, after the Indian trip ended, I went back to my home. I thought, maybe I should start setting my first goal as well. And my first goal was to solve a little problem of mine. Well, I always had this problem, which I didn't like to read. Because as a kid, I found out there's something more fun and something to better understand in this world. Well, I believe it's movies. Well, and I believe many of you down there will probably choose movies if you have a choice between books and movies, right? Well, because I know all of your feelings. Movies, they're made up of pictures, made up of sounds and music, and very attractive. Well, on the other side, we have this book right there. I mean, it's just simple, simple, plain words. Not that fun at all, right? But everybody, everyone, knows that reading books can help you in many ways. I knew that as well. So I started setting my goal for reading. Well, my first goal was really easy. It was to read 20 pages a day. Well, 10, day la uh, 10 days later, it became 200 pages. And 20 days later, it became 400 pages, which I can finish a really thick book. Well, how long did it take me? Just 20 days, not that long at all. So I thought setting small goals can help me in a lot of ways. Well, I read a lot of books, and this goal helped me in a lot of ways. For example, I had an exponential growth on my vocabulary and a wide improvement on my knowledge. And for the first time, I felt joy while reading. Well, I set my first goal as reading, and I ended year 2019 by reading a total of 60 books, which is this high. Well, I read so many books, and I felt it was a great improvement for myself. Well, when I think back again, when I didn't have this goal, I can't probably even read five books a year. And now, I can get up to 60 books, which is a great improvement for me, at least. Well, after I read all of these books, I went to give book recommendation speeches to my classmates and tell them to start reading books and setting goals like me. Well, I shared my experience with them. So today, let me share my experience with you. Well, I want, I want all of you to start setting goals just like me. Well, no matter if your goal is like learning a new instrument or exercising every day, it's all worth taking a try because a life without a goal is like a sailing ship without a compass. And use a simple way, like I said, to achieve every one of your goals. So, at last, the reason why I'm giving this talk today is because I want to inspire every one of you sitting down there to start setting goals, break them down into smaller pieces, and then adding them into your everyday life. And you'll end up achieving something big. 那么再过几天呢,就是2020年的新年了。那么我预祝大家在新的一年里面, 
，都能给自己设定一个小目标，比如像王健林一样，先赚他一个亿。Thank you。